Sacramento City Council has legalized marijuana cultivation after an hours long meeting last night, but there's still a lot of work to be done. CBS 13's Drew Balea is live at City Hall getting answers on what was included in the ordinance and how people on both sides of this debate are moving forward. Drew? Yeah, actually, both sides left feeling pretty good because they got some of what they wanted on either side of the issue. But there's still a lot that needs to be figured out. And the city council says that they've received over 800 requests from people who are looking to open up a cultivation business within the city limits. And with all that interest, some on the city council wanted to slow things down. That way, they didn't just open up the floodgates. And I think we need to have a more measured approach. Alan Warren was one of three council members to vote against the marijuana cultivation ordinance. There were still some things that we could have done a little better. Warren represents District 2. His concern under the ordinance passed last night is that cultivation businesses will fill up valuable retail space. I believe commercial corridors should be reserved for businesses that have foot traffic and that have retail application. It sounds like we might be uh, uh, getting set up, set up to be shortchanged. Ross Hendricks is the Del Paso Heights Neighborhood Association president. He says they're not anti-marijuana, but would like to see cultivation businesses in industrial settings and not street corners. Is it going to be weeks? Is it going to be months? I'm, I'm not really sure, but we're going to keep a close eye on it. I think it's an exciting time. Cultivators and marijuana industry supporters were encouraged by the city council's decision. And I think it's an important step of, of progressive of regulation. Corey Travis is the head of the Sacramento Cannabis Coalition. He says several hundred cultivators operating illegally in the city can now come out of the shadows. This stuff is being grown somewhere. We've been selling it in Sacramento for a long time. We need to allow people that want to be part of this industry and in cultivation an opportunity to do so legitimately. Travis says communities will still have a voice and be able to weigh in when cultivation businesses try to set up shop. Really, it's just a case-by-case -case basis, and I think that's really what the council said last night. And that's one of the things that the council will be working on moving forward is that community responsibility uh, plan that these cultivation businesses will have to present. What exactly that entails, how much tax money will go back to the communities, those are still issues that need to be figured out. And by the way, permits won't likely become available until after the first of the year. Still a lot to look into in this one. All right, Drew Balea, live in Sacramento. Drew, thank you.